going on YouTube? It's your boy Vincent. Today we are back with another reaction. Today we're writing to Karen calls police because she thinks that she <laughs> she thinks she thinks man looks illegal. Oh, that's gotta be racist. No, for real, this phrase is literally the definition of say something racist without saying racist. She's racist, dude. I'm not gonna lie, that's ignorant. Now, if I really get to baking her, I'm gonna be wrong. I will heat her up. Oh my god, look at her. Her body looks like a distorted hourglass. Now I'm on her. Her feet look like uh, overcooked onion rings. Now I'm on her. They don't look bogus. Now I'm on you. Like uh, Beauty and the Beast. And I'm not talking about beauty. Now I'm on you. What? Now, I don't really get to eating her up, bro. This ugly Karen. She's gonna see her on her phone like 911. I need you. Bruh. Like, come on, bro. It's people really out here getting robbed. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would be getting robbed and I call the police and they say, oh, sorry, we don't have any police officer on duty. The last police officer just went to help a Karen. What? I wish I would. I promise you I'm going to find that Karen and I'm going to beat her. Bad. I promise you. So even against this video, see Karen calls the police because she thinks man looks illegal. So let's get into it. Let's go. We've dealt with a lot of Karens on this channel. Some don't want to wear a mask. Others choose to fight Home Depot employees. But every now and then, when the stars align just right, a Karen to surpass them all comes along. A Karen Supreme. And today, I'm here to show you just that. Oh, this well, okay. beast of a woman, this kraken of Karen, called the police on this man not because he- I'm not even sure this is a woman anymore. Oh my god! This looks like a man with a bun. I'm not even on, bro, I will get to bacon her, bro, this ugly purse she got. Did something illegal, but simply because she thought he looked illegal. Now before you ask, no, I don't know what that means, right. but I got a strong suspicion that it's probably gonna be something racist. So from <laughs> what I've been able to gather, this woman was mad at the way that this guy parked his work truck in the parking lot that he was working in. So she called the police because I guess she thinks it's a crime for her parking lot lot preferences to be disturbed? I, I don't know. And this happened. What were you saying about what? Uh, what? Hello, Lindor Police. Hello. Look, look at all these parking spots though. She's just being oh. ignorant. <laughs> Why does it not surprise me that this occurred at a Walmart? Oh Walmart God. truly is just a breeding ground for stinky individuals. It occurred at a Walmart. I'm thinking she's at her hotel complex, not her hotel, her apartment complex. And this dude is parked in a parking spot she always parks in. No, you are at Walmart. The Walmart employees have not came out and said nothing to this man because he is doing work for them. You have no business. Walmart is not giving you no type of checks. You do not run the cashier. You do not run the back office. You're not a manager. You're not HR. Get up out of here, bro. Go home. Bruh. She got too much time on her hands. Is he black? Jesus Christ, what? this is a full-on Hitman Agent 47 accusation here, saying this man stole his outfit from a passerby and did the old switcheroo. Can he come get him? He's taking a picture of me. Hi, he's being weird. He's from Mexico. Oh, so he, like, his bedding. Okay, so first she accuses this man of assassinating somebody for their clothes, and now she's claiming that he has a partner in crime walking around Walmart parking lots snapping necks. Is this real? Am I getting pranked? Sam Pepper, is this your doing? <laughs> Do we live here? Are you from Africa? I'm from Lindora. Hi. Is he Hispanic or black? He's, so right He's gonna drive a truck out of here. He's illegal as well. Hispanic? I'm guessing. I don't know. What? Yo, please, please let this lady get behind my truck. Please, I promise you, I am going to step on the reverse gas with the most utmost tenacious, ferocious velocity I can. I'm going to press it as hard as I can, and I'm going to make sure I hit her bad. Like, I'm going to hit her hard, bro. Like, dude. Yeah. Oh, why can't they just mind their business? Please, does anybody know? If you know, please tell me what is she gaining from this? Like, is she getting some type of enjoyment? Does she think she's a police officer? What is she getting from this? Even if he was doing something illegal, 
is not your business because if this man is crazy and he comes and picks you up and throws you head first on the concrete, huh? you're gonna be talking about my head hurts. I, I just don't understand that, bro. And then they sit on the phone with the police talking about I'm in danger and stuff. Meanwhile, they're sitting here right, right looking at the dude that they're supposedly in danger with. You know what I'm saying? If you really were in danger, you wouldn't be sitting in front of him. You'd be in your car hiding talking about, yeah, police, nah. Oh my god, she's powering up. Take cover. Who's this motherfucker that doesn't belong? Do you have a green card? Oh! No, 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 no. I don't know who this guy is. Can you imagine living such a contrived existence that you believe that in a town of over 50,000, you not knowing a person invalidates them as a human being? She's stupid. How do you Does somebody happen to speak dumbass here? Because personally, I'm lost. Is she saying that she's not a racist because her friend has seen somebody get beat up before? What? I feel like that's a that's a pretty low ranking qualifier to not be a racist. No, it's not racist. My dad is black. You know, I think that. Her dad is not black. I'm telling y'all, as a person of the black community, we do not claim her anymore. Let me sign this petition. Let me write it up real quick because she's not black. Her daddy not black no more. I bet you she just made that up. And even if your daddy was black, you still being racist to a Mexican or Hispanic or whatever he is. You still being racist to him. It, like, you're not black. You're not black. I'm sorry. Black people don't act like this unless they old. Old black people, maybe. You know, old ladies, they be doing too much. But hey, you're not black. That might be worse than pulling the black friend card. The black dad card is the blue eyes white dragon of the Walmart <laughs> argument arena. There are no counters. My dad is black. I'm not racist. This guy's from Mexico. They punk people and they fucking don't know everybody's goddamn illegal shit. You understand? What? And my dad's black. Don't call me racist. How could she possibly think that this is making her look any better? She is literally just saying, um, my dad is black, okay? So, uh, please get this Mexican away from me. Oh, oh okay, so what? I want to make sure this guy's legit. I don't want him punking so much. So he can be punking your fucking job, taking oh. your fucking outfit, working to That's get paperwork. What? I my paperwork over here. My dad's black, racist. asshole. My dad's fucking black. Matter. It's not racist, Don't racist. tell me I'm racist because he's Mexican. My little nephew's Italian, Mexican, and a Aloha. Hold on now. He's what? An Aloha. The Jeez. confidence that this woman exuded as she said that Aloha was a race. Does not Aloha mean hi? Is that not hi for Hawaiian? She's an idiot. She's lying, bro. Just say you know somebody lying when they just start talking random stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I want to say this from the beginning, but I know drugs when I see it. That's heroin. Is incredible. You know, I tell you, I had to step back for a second and think about what you call a Hawaiian. She nearly fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me I'm racist. This fucker is coming out of the bushes telling me to move my car because he can't park straight. Right? Fucker. Don't tell me I'm racist. 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 Don't that's I wonder if she forgot about the phone call she's making. Like, she hasn't addressed the operator in quite some time. It's just <laughs> rude, honestly. I hope his feelings aren't hurt. I don't want to see your uh, fucking up people. American lives. She hung up. What are you doing sitting in your fucking car? Get a job. Get his job. Get a job, says the lady attacking the person with a job at his job midday in a Walmart parking lot. You're her feet are really making me mad. Oh! I don't want to be that guy, bud. They just look nasty. Look at how her big toe is curling up off the tip of that sandal. Bruh. I don't like that. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't even think people should wear those sandals. I don't like the ones that cut through the middle of your big toe. That ain't it.
You really showed him, didn't you? Can you imagine how disappointed her family is in her if what she said was actually true? She has a Hispanic nephew and a black father, and she's sitting here in the Walmart parking lot attacking a man for doing his job just because he's Hispanic? She's you gotta lying. be a real piece of trash for that one. But do you know something that's not trash? My goal to hit 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you happen to enjoy the video, please contribute to that goal by leaving a fat subscription, just a real juicy one. But for now, oh. that's all I have for you today. That's it. Bye. Alright, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think this whole thing was dumb. This lady's ignorant, bro. She, first of all, she's lying. Her daddy is not black, bro. I, like, I have a black dar. If that makes sense. A black radar. Black dar. I have that. I can sense the blackness in her. It says 0% on my speedometer thing. No, she has no black in her. She's lying. She want to see her and use that. Even if she was black, that doesn't excuse the fact that she's talking about he need a green card. That's still racist. And even so, you're not full black. You're not full black, bro. You, somebody in your family is white. Which means racism is times two for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I, I, I'm just throwing it out there, man. But I don't know, man. What y'all think about the situation? Like, what would y'all have done if y'all was, like, the worker in the situation? Would y'all have just been calm like him, recorded her? Would y'all have teed up on her, beat her up, and then it would have been the case? What, what y'all would have did? Let me know in the comments. And y'all don't do it. Y'all just too much to comment, button, like button, button, subscribe button, all of them buttons. Because guess what? <gasps> That's gotta be racist. We're gone.